One of the most important things that you need to understand if you're an intraday day trader is the intraday price personality of the individual instruments you trade. And that's just a complicated way of saying you need to know how your instrument trades. In other words, we've got three charts up here. On the left chart, we've got a five minute chart of the ES. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips here that'll kind of make your life a little easier. If you're losing money, it may not be your fault. You may just be in the wrong market for your style. So the index futures, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell trade like this, okay? This is gold, it trades like this. It's a nice trending instrument. And then this is bonds, it trades like this. Okay, that's the intraday personality of those markets. So for the index futures, they're sprinters. They run, stop, and reverse, run, stop, and reverse. For gold, it'll go and go and go, do a little pullback, adjust, and then continue on. So it's more of a sprinter or a longer running instrument, okay? And then the bonds are just nice, slow, and methodical, and will just gradually grind higher or gradually grind lower. So when you're looking at trading a market, first, see if your style matches up with the intraday personality of that actual thing that you're trading. So once again, on the on the E-minis, NASDAQ, Russell, S&P, or the Dow, it's a little choppy. It, it, it runs, stops, and reverses and comes back at you. Gold tends to be a nice trending instrument. Bonds tend to be a stair step effect. So if you find yourself getting stopped out way more than you should be, you're probably trading the wrong instrument. And the best thing that you can do is find a different market to trade to try to increase your profitability. Good luck. Hope it helps. I'll see you in the next video.